write 14,897 in expanded form. So let me just rewrite the number, and I'll color code it. And that way we can keep track of our digits. So we have 14,000. So 1, yeah, I don't have to write. Well, let me write it that big. 14,000, 14,800, 800, and 90, and 97. Let's see, I already used the blue. Maybe I should use yellow and 97 in expanded form. So let's think about what place each of these digits are in. This right here, the 7, is in the 1's place. This is in the 1's place. This is in the 1's place. The 9 is in the 10's place. The 9 is in the 10's place. This literally represents 9 10's. And we're going to see this in a second. This literally represents 7 1's. The 8 is in the 100's place. This is in the hundreds place. The four is in the thousands place. It literally represents 4,000. So this is in the thousands place. And then the one is in the ten thousands place. Is in the ten thousands place. And you see, every time you move to the left, you move one place to the left, you're multiplying by 10. Ones place, tens place, hundreds place, thousands place. 10,000s place. Now let's think about what that really means. If this 1 is in the 10,000s place, that means that it literally means it literally represents. So this 1 literally represents. I want to do this in a way that my arrows don't get mixed up. Actually, let me start at the other end. Let me start with the 7 represents. The 7 literally represents 7 ones. 7 ones. Or another way to think about it, it also you could say it represents 7 times 1. All of these are equivalent. It represents 7 1's. Now let's think about the 9. That's why I'm doing it from the right, so that the arrows don't have to cross each other. So what does the 9 represent? It represents 9 10's. You could literally imagine you have 9 actual 10's. You could have a 10 plus a 10 plus a 10. Do that 9 times. That's literally what it represents, 9 actual 10's. 9 tens, or you could say it's the same thing as 9 times 10, or 90, either way you want to think about it. So let me write all the different ways to think about it. Or 90, it represents all of these things, 9 tens, or 9 times 10, or 90. So then we have our 8. Our 8 represents, we see it's in the hundreds place, it represents 8 hundreds, 8 hundreds. Or you could view that as being equivalent to 8 times 100. 100, not 1,000. 8 times 100, or 800. That 8 literally represents 800s, 800. And then the 4, I think you get the idea here. This represents in the thousands place. It represents 4,000s, 4,000s, which is the same thing as 4 times 1,000 which is the same thing as 4,000. 4,000 is the same thing as 4,000s added up. And then finally, we have this 1, which is sitting in the 10,000s place. So it literally represents 1 10 10,000. 10,000. 1 10,000. Or you could imagine it. You could imagine if these were kind of chips, kind of poker chips, that would represent one of the blue poker chip. And each blue poker chip represents 10,000. I don't know if that helps you or not. And 1 10,000 is the same thing as 1 times 10,000, which is the same thing as 10,000. So when they ask us to write it in an expanded form, we could write 14,897 literally as the sum of these numbers, of kind of its components. Or we could write it as the sum of these numbers. Actually, let me write this. This top 7 times 1 is just equal to 7. So 14,897 is the same thing as 10,000 10, plus 4,000 plus 4,000 plus 800, 800 plus 800 plus 90. That's the 90, or 90 plus 90 plus 7, plus 7. So you could consider this expanded form, or you could use this version of it. Or you could say this is the same thing as 1 times 10,000, depending on what people consider it to be expanded form, plus 4 times, 4 times 1,000, plus 8 times 100, 
8 times 100 plus 9 times 10 plus 9 times 10 plus 7 times 1. Scroll to the right a little bit. Plus 7 times 1. So either of these could be considered expanded form.